What's happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning into Ham Radio Tube. My name is Mike K at MRD. I may or may not have bought a new VHF radio that I need to put in the K Murder Exploder, but it mounts a little bit different than the TYT 9800 that I have been currently using. So I called Jim at Lido Radio, asked what the best solutions would be, ordered some parts up, and I'm going to show you my install of my new VHF radio this time on Ham Radio Tube. So this is the setup that I've been rocking since I got the Explorer. I've got the 891 here, I've got the TYT 9800, and then I've got the microphone on this little clip here. This is all Lido radio mount stuff, and it's awesome, and I love it, and I'm going to continue using Lido radio. What I need to do now, though, is because I have been using Chinese radios for mobile ever since I became a ham, I figured it was time to finally get a Japanese radio, so I went ahead and bought me a Yaesu FTM 300 that I want to put right here in place of the 9800. The problem is the 9800 has this little mounting bracket that makes it easy to attach to the Lido mount. The Yaesu has this little threaded quarter 20 hole. It also comes with a little metal bracket, but that metal mounting bracket isn't going to do me a lick of good. So I want to put the 300 here but we need to figure out a solution, and Jim at Lido Radio has one. So I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna show you the new way that I'm gonna install not only the 300, but I also need to get the microphone for the 891 mounted on here somehow. And I'm using the, this is the Lido Radio, like the really super rigid uh, metal bracket here. So I need to mount my 891's microphone on here somewhere, and we've got a solution for that too. To give you a better look at this mount here, this is just, it's like two rigid metal pipes, and underneath the seat here, you can pop this off. The mount actually slid underneath, and there's a bolt down there that holds the seat that holds this down, and it's totally adjustable. You flip these things up, and you can twist them and kind of adjust it and lock it into place. But the Lido radio stuff is really cool. Everything's just kind of modular. So I've, I've already unplugged the wires. You just pull this up and it comes out. So and when you want to put it back, you just line these up with the holes and push it back down. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. Super easy. So let's run inside on the bench and swap this out and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So first I need to take off the TYT head and get rid of this mount. Remove those screws. Then I've got to take these other two screws off because we're going to put something here that you will see in just a moment. So this is going to stay here. This is what actually holds the bracket to the mount. And because I want to put this here, we need to employ this guy. This is like a kind of a locking, pivoting ball type device that I'm gonna screw right there. So all we have to do is take this little jobby, screw it into the FTM 300, like such. Okay, so that's what's gonna hold the radio. And then we can take our screws and go from the back. These are the stock screws from Lido. I could take 20 minutes of my time and run down to Ace Hardware and get ever so slightly longer ones but I honestly can't be bothered because I've got just enough thread to get some purchase on the nuts. <laughs> See, that's it, but it's gonna hold. So I'm gonna put all four nuts and bolts back on. And four, okay, that part's done. Now we over tighten them. So now we've got this installed and tightened down. Probably be a good idea to put some uh, thread lock on there. These screws do sometimes have a tendency to get a little bit loose, but we're half-assing it today. So now this little guy is gonna go over the little nipple there. And then this kind of just forces on like such. And then you're going to tighten up this nut 
and it's going to kind of squeeze the separated parts that's on here so you can tighten it down, but you've still got a little bit of, you know, movement. You've got some motion to, to where you can angle these things. And that's what I really like about these Lido radio products. They're just pretty well thought out. So get this over tightened. Good enough to where it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So that takes care of that part. Now this microphone piece, I'm going to leave on because I have it and it works. But for the other microphone for the 891, I've got one of these jaw clamp things from Lido that's got this little nipple on here. And I saw these uh, new microphone holders that he has and I thought, hey, that'd be perfect. I can just use that because I've got, here's what I've done. Uh, I've got, this fits on here, same way as the uh, radios there. And I was thinking that these holes would fit these holes. Well, they don't. <laughs> but fortunately, these come with some 3M double-sided tape that's very, very sticky. So I just stuck this plate to the, uh, or the mount to the plate there, and this is gonna clamp onto the, the metal mounting bracket that's in the car, and that'll be what holds the microphone for the 891. So that is fantastic. And I ended up ordering two of these because I was hoping I could replace this, get rid of this uh, part here and just uh, put the microphone holder there. But these holes don't line up with the mount either. I think they only work this way, which is not how I run the mount. So it'd, it'd be cool if like all these holes fit all the different accessories, but unfortunately they don't, which is fine because I already have that. So. Uh, we're, we're good with the microphones. So let's go out and uh, wire this all back up and see what we can come up with. So now we can go ahead and put the mount back on and we can connect our wires. Here's the wire for the 891, plugs in just like that. And the wire for the 300 is actually buried right there. So I think I have to take that off plug this in get that okay so now that wire is plugged in there go ahead and snap that back on tighten her down okay and then Yesu in their continuing stupidity gives you this control wire to connect the head to the body but they don't give you an extension for the microphone and they don't give you a way to plug the microphone into the head, so I had to get this RJ45 adapter. And this is actually the control cable for the TYT that just so happens to work with the uh, 891, or the, excuse me, the FTM300, so I can extend the microphone back to the back of the car. And now we can just put our microphone there, and then we'll deal with this guy. And what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this mounting bracket here. I think I'm gonna mount it like right around here. Just kind of keep it out of the way. I don't want it sticking out here and you know getting in the way of all this mess. So down here it's gonna be out of the way. So I think that'll work. But first, I'm gonna take some zip ties and we're gonna just kind of zip tie the cables to the mount, keep it tidy, you know. All right, another one down here where you probably can't see. And now there's, there's kind of a little groove right here in the mount, so I can just stick that and the cable fits right perfectly in there. Tighten this guy down. Let's get the microphone on here and get it. So it's just sitting there comfortably, kind of in between the seat and the center console there, but that's pretty perfect for me. I can access it, but it's also out of the way. So I think that's gonna work rather lovely. And we can use this guy to kind of adjust the position a little bit there. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. And here's a better look at uh, everything from kind of behind there. You can see I've got the wires Everything's zip tied, nice and tidy there. And I, I really love this clamp that I can just put it here, 
get the HF microphone accessible but out of the way because I don't use that as much as the VHF and everything's just perfectly organized. These Lido radio mounts are so versatile and awesome you can just do anything with them. I freaking love these. And now we can do some final adjustments here, get everything facing the way we like, fire up the radios maybe. Look at that. Beautiful. Got easy access to this mic. If you want to play HF, got easy access to that mic. Perfect. And for the lucky ladies watching, if you have the privilege of riding in the K Murder Exploder, actually sitting in the passenger seat here, yeah, your, your leg's hitting this a little bit, but there's still enough room. It's, it's not uncomfortable to sit here, so everything's kind of out of the way, but very functional as well. And if she decides she wants to get on the radio, no problem, lickety split right there. You can see the VFOs from the passenger seat as well. So this is uh, a plus grade ham radio install from K8MRD. And now finally that I have this installed, the moment everyone's been waiting for, the peeling of the plastic. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? So there we have it guys, I hope you find this video informative and hopefully gave you some ideas on how you might could install your own radio using these awesome Lido radio mounts. They're fantastic, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick some of these up. In the meantime, thanks for watching, my name is Mike, K8MRD, this is Ham Radio Tube 73.